All right, so 10 minutes to talk about omega-3 bound phospholipids and their being a game changer in the omega-3 fish oil industry. So first of all, what are, omega uh, what are phospholipids? Uh, phospholipids are kind of fat that ha has a very unique chemical property or physical property. It can dissolve well both in water and in, in uh, fat uh, substances. That unique uh, quality enables it uh, to have very unique abilities in organic, uh, uh, in, in humans and in animals. Uh, for example, every living cell, its outer layer, its outer boundary is made out of phospholipids, that, that boundary that interacts with the environment. Phospholipids are also very powerful emulsifiers, meaning that they can take those fats that are either, either our nutrients that we consume through food or are passing through our bloodstream and basically incorporate them through uh, watery substances. So phospholipids are naturally occurring elements with unique properties that exist in every living, almost every living organism. How uh, phospholipids are related or connected to omega-3s? In order to understand that, we have to go back uh, down the memory lane to the history of uh, the fish oil industry and the fish oil boom. About 40 years ago, it was discovered that spe special populations that have a very restrictive diet, it's called Inuits, the people that live in the uh, Arctic uh, Circle, consume mostly uh, fatty fish or fatty uh, marine food, such as seals or whales, have a very unique health uh, uh, condition. They have low incidence of stroke, low incidence of cardiovascular disease, and even depression. Later on, it, it was discovered also on other populations, uh, heavily dependent on uh, seafood, such as the D Japanese population. And indeed, those Inuits, those people that live in, uh, under this restrict diet, have almost tenfold lower rate of suffering from cardiovascular disease. Fast forward, this is what led to what we know today as the fish oil boom. The, those omega-3, namely EPA, DHA, that are predominantly found in those fatty uh, uh, marine food in the Arctic Circle is uh, making a huge difference uh, in, that, uh, in that respect. Also important is to know that most of the scientific bodies and, and, uh, and uh, scientific institutions do recommend about 300 grams per week as a healthy diet of 300 grams a, a week of fish, uh, fatty fish per week as a, a healthy diet, as a means to maintain healthy life. In modern culture, in modern uh, tradi um, way of uh, eating habit, we consume far less than that average. And of course, the convenience of use, healthy, health considerations or risk considerations of, or, uh, uh, and others have propelled what we know as the fish oil boom. But if we go back to what fat, fatty fish or fatty uh, marine biomass is all about, oil is just a portion of that. It so happens that there is another aspect of that diet, another aspect of those marine creatures that is consumed by those populations. And those are omega-3 bound phospholipids. Those phospholipids with unique characteristics, I just mentioned, containing or having omega-3s mainly EPA DHA as part of their molecule. So besides being part of uh, the natural diet, what's so important or what's so special in having those uh, omega-3 bound phospholipids? First of all, uh, it was found that those phospholipids are much more effective carriers of EPA and DHA to our body. It was the, uh, there is a growing uh, body of evidence, both on animal models as well as uh, human models, including our company, that have, comp have been comparing the levels of absorption, absorption rate uh, of uh, omega-3 bound to phospholipid compared to uh, triglycerides or other forms of uh, omega-3. And it was found that both target organs, such as liver, kidneys, and the brain, are definitely enjoying higher levels of uh, uh, omega-3s, or DHA in that case, compared to triglyceride when uh, they are consumed. Uh, another important aspect, similar to that, in that respect, is uh, red blood cells. Red blood cells are important markers when it comes to absorption, and uh, recent clinical evidence does support that notion that uh, uh, red blood cells are more enriched with omega-3s when they are bound to, connected to, phospholipids. 
that uh, fact is also translated to higher efficacy. So better absorption in it for itself has no meaning. But better absorption can be translated to a greater efficacy. For example, I was talking about red blood cells. There is an important risk factor called omega-3 index. Omega-3 index is, an, is a, 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 a way to measure levels of omega-3 on red blood cells, and it is correlated with the uh, uh, higher risk or lower risk to suffer from sudden cardiac de death or generally cardiovascular disease. So you want to be as higher on that index as possible. Our studies, as well as uh, accumulating studies by others, seems to suggest that intake of omega-3 bound phospholipids compared to triglycerides does have an impact or a greater impact, significantly greater impact on getting this omega-3 uh, index up and running. So I was talking about absorption, I was talking about efficacy. There are other elements of efficacy related to phospholipids. Phospholipids is a very sophisticated word, but members of the phospholipid category in it for themselves have unique health benefits, not just as carriers of omega-3s, but as a standalone, as a, as a moiety by themselves. For example, phosphatidylserine is a phospholipid that has a specific effect on brain health. It's known as a well-popular dietary supplement that specifically addresses brain health. Phosphatidylcholine, we know by the name lecithin. Highly refined, highly purified lecithin in high doses is prescribed as a drug to treat or mitigate fatty liver disease for, for those who need that. So phospholipid is not just as a carrier, but as a health a, a vector by themselves does exhibit that, uh, that uh, role. So the natural profile that is coming naturally from fish the effect that it gives. Another element that is contributing to the natural uh, profile or the natural appeal of the use of phospholipids comes from the fundamentally different purification concept, the purification methodology, the way the nutrients are being extracted from the biomass to us as humans. Normally, we know the name fish oil, it's a very sterile, very clean, single peak material obtained through a process called distillation or chemical treatment. That process does ensure very clean, very purified from other uh, undesired impurities as a dietary supplement. The problem that, or the, the, the weakness in that approach is that it's sterile. It provides only a single element out of the biomass. And there are other elements which are important to our health, as I explained. The way uh, phospholipids are uh, being manufactured is through a process called extraction. Now, the very simple and common analogy of extraction is simply taking a tea bag in hot water and enjoying a fresh cup of tea with the nice taste and smell that we like. Same approach comes with, uh, of course, in industrial scale, using marine biomass. You use uh, all sorts of methodologies, but the idea there, or the ideology there, is to extract as many nutrients as possible that originates from the biomass. More nutrients, more uh, health profile, greater impact on our health, as opposed to just the triglycerides or the oil that we commonly uh, use uh, uh, today in today's industry. The last point I want to make regarding the, the use of phospholipids relates to fishy burps that we are all aware of. So the, the reason why we have uh, fishy burps is the digestion uh, process of normally uh, oils is done through our stomach. So gases that are released uh, are of course released through the mouth. Phospholipids are being digested through our intensives. Therefore much lower in the digestion tract and any gas that is being formed is not released in this uncomfortable way. So to summarize, omega-3 bound phospholipids, natural to the body, obtained through a much natural, close to the natural way through the extraction, ha have the greater absorption of omega-3 and in it for themselves, have a, a greater or more broader impact on our health. There are several sources for, to obtain omega-3 bound phospholipids. The most currently, the most common one is uh, obtained uh, from krill oil, 
The name Krillor, I'm sure is familiar to you, is an excellent and rich source for omega-3 bound phospholipids. And for the purposes I mentioned, we believe that in the near future, there will be also additional sources uh, that are come from marine food and are rich with omega-3 bound phospholipids. Thank you all.